What's up YouTube? Capital G here. Gonna give you guys a video on my birthday. I probably should be taking a break, you know, considering it's my birthday and everything, but Yu-Gi-Oh! never sleeps, so why should I? Today I'm going to be introducing a new segment on my channel. It's called It's Broken. It's Broken basically is this. I discuss a few cards, I put them under the microscope, cards that most people don't feel have these really game-breaking effects on, uh, you know, matches and on the meta and stuff like that, but cards that are actually broken when you look at them. These are cards that people probably don't put on their mock ban list because they think they have minimal effects in the format, but that that's kind of irrelevant. A broken card is a broken card. It doesn't really matter how you try and spin it. So today, today we're going to look at Gaia Dragon the Thunder Charger. This is a card that by most people would say it's just a strong card, but it's honestly, it's actually broken. Here's some of the reasons why I think this card is broken. Number one, it breaks the mechanics of Xyz. Xyz at their core are basically supposed to be this. You combine two cards of the same level, you get an Xyz monster. The Xyz will generally get its effect, and some of those effects would include protection, gachi Zen mains, negation, dokalagia, special summoning ability, a tomb, Zen mighty, or the ability to remove threats straight from the field. Uh, Exit, Beetle, uh, Tyrus, Adrius, cards like that that can blow stuff up. But those effects can only be used almost always by detaching materials from your uh, your XC monster. And then when your when your materials are used up, your XC basically just becomes a vanilla. That's the entire mechanic of XCs right there. This is the problem with Gaia Changer. Gaia Changer basically messes that entire dynamic up because your monster is no your monster ultimately won't get weak. Like it won't become that vanilla monster that it's supposed to when you used up all your XC materials. In fact, more egregiously, in most cases, your monster actually gets more powerful by overlaying for Gaia Charger because not only do you get that 2600 piercing, but again, in a lot of cases like Exit Beetle or Crimson Ninja, your monster's attack is actually going to go up. So you're telling me that I'm going to get free piercing damage and my attack is going to be raised for free? with absolutely no drawback with no restrictions with no cost of life points or any conditions that I have to be that have to be met for me to summon Gaia Charger like I, I don't quite understand why they made this card and they released this in the same exact set that uh, Heratix came out in which really really seems short-sighted in my opinion because just doing that made this card so freaking wombo combo-licious you know you look at cards like I said previously Exit Beetle or a Tomb those are cards where they have these really, really great effects, but their drawbacks are supposed to be, you know, a tomb can't attack. Exit Beetle has very, very mediocre stats when you detach his, um, when you detach the equipped that that's uh, equipped from the graveyard. But that's completely erased when you add Gaia Charger on top of that because, again, you're getting piercing, you're getting higher attack. You don't have to spend any resources to do it except for having this one card in your extra deck. It doesn't seem quite fair. Then you add in other cards that can be comboed with this, such as Mind Control, where you can just take your opponent 6C. I mean, chances are you shouldn't be able to do anything with it because you can't Synchro with Xyz. You can't Xyz with Xyz. Oh, but you can overlay to make another Xyz with this Xyz, which doesn't really make any sense. So again, if I like Mind Control, your Adrius or Terrace, I can just overlay to Gaia. Hell, if I over, if I Mind Control your Gaia, I can overlay into my Gaia. That's so stupid. Um, in addition, they made this card a dragon, which was... I don't understand why. I mean, I, I don't know if they were trying to make this heretic support or what. But let's say somebody Fiendish changed your Gaia, you know. Like they use a Fet Veiler on your tomb. You say, okay, I'll counter that by making Gaia. Then they Fiendish chain that. Okay, well, you know what I'll do? I'll just remove it for Red Eyes Metal Darkness Dragon. Or if for some reason you kill my Gaia, I can bring it back with Red Eyes Metal Darkness Dragon. So it's like, man, I mean... Uh, how, how do you get around the, the ridiculous advantage that this card gives people? You know, in a lot of cases, it makes it seem more powerful. It does it for free. And it completely erases any drawbacks that it sees have. When you combine all of that, I just, it looks like a card. It looks like a card that probably shouldn't have been made. But since it's already here, I think that this card should definitely be limited to one. So I hope that you guys like this episode. Let me know what you guys think about this card. Cooking ad and uh, wish me happy birthday.